What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. I'm back in again another video, and today it's Sunday. That was like a cool echo with that. But uh, if you don't know, you should already know. But if you don't know, I like to do my cooking videos on Sundays because it's usually just real quiet. I ain't got nothing to do. It's kind of a day of rest, but uh, I don't know how to sit down. So I actually just got back from the store. I'm yelling too much, huh? I actually just got back from the store and uh picked up a couple of items i didn't i should have put this up before i started this video but uh you know it is what it is but today we're making beef or beef or however you want to pronounce it um so i'm going to put this up and probably get up out this jacket because we about to be dealing with some brown beef um 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 you know I put cheese and everything. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and change, and I'll be right back to continue the video with you. I went ahead real quick and threw on, on the U neck because uh, it ain't tight as it used to be. Uh, anyway, though, uh, I might be actually, I'm going to be recording two videos a day. I don't know which one coming up first, but uh, the second video is actually going to be... Start. Uh, I forgot to put this stuff up. I, I'll be back. And we're back. All right. So um, I got ingredients right here in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and read them off to you so that you know what's going on. Uh, and yes, I am reading this off the internet. But if you don't know, you should know. Whatever uh recipe I take off the internet, I never use like exactly what they wrote. I always change it up somehow and add my own little twist because if I do exactly what it says on here. It's probably going to taste bland and not anything like what I wanted to taste like. So I'll put a little twist in it. Anyway. It calls for 8 ounces of uncooked elbow macaroni. We got it right here. 16 ounces actually, but we'll do the math. Uh, 1 teaspoon of olive oil, which we got right here. 1.25 pounds of ground beef right there. Uh, then it calls for a small onion chopped, and I will tell you about that in a second. Uh, Coated salt, uh, pepper. But I guess you want the exact measurements. Huh? Okay, so half, <laughs> half a teaspoon of coated salt, 1 4 teaspoon of pepper, and 29 ounces of tomato sauce, and 2 tablespoons of chili powder. So I got tomato sauce right here. Uh, da, 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 this is actually, um, I think it was actually 23.9 ounces, 23.9 ounces, but, uh, I noticed that when I was, uh, putting it up, I was like, dang, yeah, I had remembered, I had some leftover for the last time I made something like this, so, it worked out perfectly, because I didn't know I was going to do this little cone, but it's good enough, let me put it right there, um, the onions. onions, I don't actually don't like onions, but, uh, if you were using the onions, it's just something that you saute while you cooking, the, uh, the ground beef, but I don't like onions, I'll probably put, like, onion powder in there or something, but, like, actual onions, I hate, like, it just ruins the food for me, I just, you know, anyway, uh, I'm about to get all my dishes together so I can see what I need and put it all together. So I, I season my ground beef always. No matter what I am making, this ground beef is getting seasoned. And in the recipe, it did not call for it to be seasoned because you were just supposed to put oil on the, uh, the skillet. It's, it's a skillet, right? <laughs> you're just supposed to put oil in the skillet and then, uh, and then the ground beef and then you're supposed to put the onions in there and that, and that was it. Uh, <laughs> as my mom would say, <laughs> That's disgusting. But, uh, nah. Ground beef needs to be seasoned. Whatever season you want to use, use it. Uh, but always, I always season my ground beef. Do not play about your meat. Anyway, uh, right now I got the elbows over here boiling. The ground beef is about to get ready to go into the skillet. I'm about to go ahead and do that. And then, yeah. Oh, my elbows just finished and I just took them off and I'm just waiting for the ground beef to hook. Uh, heat up but uh growing up my mom had taught me about sugar and salt uh sugar can always level out salt you know what i'm saying and they they sometimes they can make the best combination now that being said certain meals i do add sugar to but not like enough to like overpower so what i'm actually gonna do and you guys are gonna be like huh i'm actually gonna add some sugar to this ragu I'm gonna pour it out into a bowl as I'm doing now as I'm watching my ground beef at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna put all the ragu in here in this bowl and then I'm gonna put some sugar in there. So I do realize I'm not showing y'all enough of uh, what I'm actually doing, but that's because I'm <laughs> trying to focus on this. It's been a minute since I, well, I've never actually made beef roni, but I made something close to it. I'm just trying to remember everything correctly. So right now I'm just pouring in the sauce. This bowl ain't got no grip, so I'm just, Trying to be careful, I drop the bowl in there. 
very good. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get the rest of this out. And then I'll pick the can back up. And I'm going to show you. I promise. I promise. Bada boom, bada bang. Bomb. I keep my promises. All right. So now all I got to do is put some chili powder in there. But I don't remember how much. And I, I never really put the chili powder in anything. So uh, just do like enough. Anyway, uh, get our little utensil. And then just stir it up. And then according to the recipe, that's it. There you have it. That's your beefaroni. Nah, not me, not me, not me. No, no, no. Nope. Because I have an obsession with cheese, so I'm gonna throw some cheese in there. And then I'm gonna put it in something else and I'm going to bake it. All right, let me set all that up and then I'm gonna show you. I'm just right here, I'm about to put some uh, shredded cheese in there and then I'm gonna put it inside a, uh, a baking thing. And then I'll put more cheese on top of it, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for like uh, almost 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so there's already cheese like in it because I mixed it when it was inside of there. Now I'm gonna throw an extra layer of cheese on top of this uh, triple cheddar cheese, and I'm also gonna throw some American cheese on there because y'all, y'all, I put American cheese on there because American cheese tastes amazing. And then I'm also gonna put some pepperonis on the very top. And then I will show you when I'm done with that. And then I got the oven ready. It's gonna preheat to 350. And then I'm gonna stick it in there for like 10 minutes. So here she is before she goes into the oven. Soon as that hits 350 for 10 to five to 10 minutes. Oh, and by the way, I did taste it before I um put all the put the cheese in it, and it was actually pretty good. But then again, I did add seasoning to the ground beef, and I did add that uh sugar to the to the tomato sauce so and then when i put the cheese in it by itself like before i did all this when i put the cheese in it it was amazing now this is going to be fantastic oh my goodness i wish y'all could now my angle is angle is bad on myself y'all can't have no and there she is beautiful mm. wish y'all could get something man this is Literally mouth water. I wish it, at this point I wish I had like a better can. Ooh. If y'all can smell it, it look like a pizza, but man. Clear please.